Hello everyone, it's me Patrick, and I haven't done a review in a while, so I wanted to do a review on an old phone that I used to use, called the uh, C5L 2020, it's made by Blue Smartphones, which is an American smartphone company, they're, they're not very big, but they make budget smartphones, and um, you can get a decent phone at a not insane price. They're awesome. I love Blue, and I enjoyed using this phone while I still had it as my main phone. So let's jump into the review. On the back of the box, it gives you some of the specs. So this is the C5L 2020. It's got a 5-inch curved glass display, a 1.4 gigahertz quad-core processor, 16 gigabytes internal memory, and one gigabyte of RAM, an eight megapixel main camera with LED flash, an eight megapixel selfie camera, a micro SD up to 64 gigabytes, a 2200 milliamp hour battery, and it comes with Android 10 Go Edition. Um, Go Edition is a smaller version of Android that's meant to run on devices that have less RAM and storage such as this one. And there's their website, blueproducts.com. Gonna open the box up, see what we get. So, little disclaimer here. Um, this phone has already been used, so I put a screen protector on it. But you get in the box your phone, a charger. What else do we get in here? Um, Get a quick guide, dual SIM installation guide. Yes, this phone can uh, support up to two SIM cards at once, as well as a micro SD card. See? And finally, they are nice enough to give you a silicone case with your phone, which is big plus. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a case, you know. Because this should do. It's flexible. It's a little bit on the thin side. But it does work. And it's definitely good enough for everyday use. When you put it on the phone. So here's the quick guide. I'm not really going to go through this. But a couple things you got to keep in mind if you get this phone. Um... This phone is not waterproof. It does not have any sort of waterproof certification on it. So don't put it in water. I mean, that's a good rule for any phone, but please don't put this in water or it'll be no good. And um, if you need to check the IMEI of your phone, you dial star pound zero six pound. Some service providers are gonna need that number in order to activate your cell phone on their network. And speaking of features on the phone, this phone has the capability of having two SIM cards at once and an SD card, so I'll show you that right now. I just pulled the back cover off of the phone, put my uh, name on a label here just so you know whose phone it is. Um, I still left the SIM card in there. This phone does still have working service. I also put a 16 gigabyte SD card in there just so I have more storage. And if I wanted to put another SIM card in here, I could put a nano SIM in here. This second tray right here is for nano SIM. See nano SIM two. And this is for micro SIM one. You might need an adapter for that one. And the battery does come included in the box, but I had already been using this phone, so I left the battery in the phone itself. Now that the uh, back cover is on and my silicone casing, I'll turn the phone on. And here's our lock screen. Shows T-Mobile as the service provider, but this phone is originally used with track phone wireless. I just put the uh, T-Mobile compatible SIM card in there. Because again, this phone still has service, so... Unlock the phone, and here's their home screen. Um, some of the apps that this came with, like Assistant, 
calculator, your calendar, camera. No, I don't want Google Maps to open. Um, all that stuff. It also comes with an FM radio, but you need to uh, plug in the headphones for that. And it comes with all of your Android apps with that are Go Edition. So they're a little bit smaller than your normal apps, and they um, you're able to use it on this phone because, again, this phone only has 1 gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage, so needs a um, lower power operating system for it to work. I'd like to do a test of the camera. Oh. Here's the camera. It's not too bad. I mean, this is a budget smartphone, so you get what you pay for. If I flip the camera around, yes, you can see me. I'm filming this review off of the phone that I use right now, but this phone isn't uh, too bad camera-wise. Also wanted to show you FM radio. Yeah, you need headphones for that. And a little uh, odd thing. Let me close that out. With uh, blue phones, that's not very common on other phones. They put the charging port and the headphone jack on the same side. But I mean, when you get this side, I would expect to have the the charging port on this side, but no. So that's a little quirk that you get with a blue smartphone. Got our flashlight here. And your three buttons right there. Got your calculator. Works pretty nicely. And your phone. Just uh, dial away whatever number you can think of, whoever you want to call. It all works very smoothly on this phone. So, all in all, I'd say the uh, Blue C5L 2020 is a very good budget phone. This works on all GSM carriers. So that includes T-Mobile and AT&T here in the United States. It does not work on Sprint or Verizon because those are CDMA carriers. And this phone is 4G LTE compatible. So we'll still be able to use it even though uh, major carriers are shutting down the 3G networks. It'll still work. And overall, this again, this is an awesome budget phone. It's worth about $67. It's an awesome phone. I'll leave a link in the description for the places where you can buy it, such as Amazon and Walmart. Thank you, everybody, for watching my review of the Blue C5L 2020. And have a great night, everyone. See ya.